Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will open at Disney's Hollywood Studios before you know it, but before it does, I wanted to give you an update about what we know now for what's coming in 2019. First and foremost, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is scheduled to open in the summer of 2019. Usually that means mid or late May, maybe even early June, but that's about the time frame in 2019. I don't have an exact date for you, but somewhere in there it should open. Now I've heard that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is going to be divided into several pieces. There are going to be parts all over the place. You walk into a new area. It's going to be really cool how it's divided, but beyond those small divisions, there's going to be a larger division between the new Star Wars universe and the old Star Wars universe. I think that's a great idea because you have the original fans and you have some more of those new fans. So I think this is great to divide it up, have some of the new with some of the old. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is going to open with two main attractions, very similar to Pandora World of Avatar. The first of the two attractions is going to allow guests to fly the Millennium Falcon. It sounds amazing. I had an opportunity to sit behind a replica of the Millennium Falcon on the Disney Dream on the Family Cruise not too long ago. Ready? Yeah. I could drive. So I can turn. See how it turns the Falcon a little bit right there with the stars? It was really fun to sit behind the seat. You could control the hyperdrive. It was awesome, but you couldn't really control it. And in mission space, you can't really control where you're going either. I mean, it, it kind of feels like a little bit, but not really. I really, really hope that with this new Millennium Falcon experience, you have at least a little bit more control. Like you can actually see the pitch and the yaw as you're moving around and controlling it the best you can. Now I have a very strong feeling that Disney is going to want to make sure that this is fun for everyone. Whether you want to pay attention to every little change change in the Falcon and move every little movement or if you just kind of want to touch the wheel every so often and it does something else or maybe you don't want to touch it at all Disney's gonna make it fun for everyone so hopefully we'll have some control but maybe there'll be an option for autopilot we'll see the second attraction at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is in Disney's own words built on a scale we've never done before I mean that sounds incredible so we're talking mega 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 attraction now this attraction is going to put guests right in the middle of a battle actually in a hangar bay when there's a battle between the First Order and the Resistance there's no official name yet but Wow, I can only envision how cool this is going to be. Now, I love the Secrets of the Empire experience, the virtual reality one we saw in our last adventure. That was amazing. I don't think it's going to be like that, where you have your own blaster and your own, you know, headpiece and all of that. Not, not quite. I, I don't think so. We'll see. Maybe Disney will surprise us. But Disney has been working on a lot of little details to really make you feel fully immersed with this experience. I cannot wait. And yes, I do believe that both of these attractions are going to be given a fast pass option but I also think they're going to be at that tier A category, so you can only pick one of them each day. I'm sure even then it's not going to be enough. You're going to want to experience it over and over again, and we are going to see lines like we have never seen them before. An interesting fact, the cantina will indeed serve blue milk. So does that mean that it's going to be flavored like blueberry milk? I'm really excited and you know I'm going to try it. Inside the cantina, I have no doubt we will hear the cantina band, dun, 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 and Captain Rex is going to be DJing the whole thing, so that's going to be really fun. And sure enough, Disney has already come out with merchandise for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. More than a year before it officially opens, they already have merchandise. Disney, you're very good at it. They're very, very good at it. And you know I want it all. It's, it all looks amazing. I can't wait for that opening day hat or shirt. It's going to be really cool. Now, one thing I've been thinking about when it comes to merchandise at Walt Disney World, you can walk around all over Disney, whether it's Disney Springs, Hollywood Studios, even Magic Kingdom, and you can find Star Wars merchandise. Usually it's very, very similar. They have the same items everywhere. I'm wondering, and I have a feeling I already know what the answer is, if Disney's going to have very specific merchandise that's only going to be sold at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I have a feeling the answer is yes. I think Disney's going to reserve some items just for inside Galaxy's Edge. It's the only place you can buy it. Other items, yes, you'll be able to buy at Disney Springs and Magic Kingdom, but some of them only in the park. There are truly so many things to look forward to with new lands at Walt Disney World, but more than anything else, we will see a huge influx of crowds at Disney's Hollywood Studios at least for a year, if not more. Star Wars is probably going to be one of the biggest launches that Disney has ever done 
at Walt Disney World. I'm really looking forward to it, but I know I'm going to be joined by many other Disney and Star Wars enthusiasts. Now, as you may know, I've been thinking quite a bit about the opening of Toy Story Land, and I'm really truly hoping that I can go and experience it with you. The opening of Toy Story Land will no doubt bring in crowds. It's going to be very crowded, but I am hoping to experience it. It's a fun event. But I don't think for even one moment that those crowds will be nearly as intense as what I expect to see for the opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. If you thought we knew crowds for opening of Pandora, if you thought we knew crowds for New Year's Eve, you ain't seen nothing yet. Michael, okay, keep yes. going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can foresee the crowds being so intense that when Disney announces the official opening weekend, usually it's a weekend, where they're going to open the brand new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, within a few days, maybe within a few hours, just about every single Disney resort, I have this funny feeling, is going to sell out. I'm not kidding. I feel like the crowds are going to be that intense. You're going to have a very hard time getting a Disney resort room for that weekend if you schedule too far out in advance. So I've been thinking about it a lot. I am already thinking about when I want to schedule this. As soon as they announce it, I want to book a room right away because I want to be there for opening day. It's such a fun event for opening day. It's, it's, it's something special that you can look back on and say, I was there for this. I cannot wait. I hope we have an opportunity to experience it together. There is so much to look forward to at New Lands of Walt Disney World, and there's so much we really don't know. I've heard a lot about the water fountains, and they're going to be really cool, and the X-Wings are going to be life-size, and walking under the Millennium Falcon, I have heard a lot of amazing rumors, and there's so much to look forward to. I would love to hear your thoughts. What are you looking forward to most when it comes to the opening and some of those rumors for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.